All across the country, cannabis growers and dispensaries are turning to independent labs to help them provide safe, high-quality products. Contaminant testing is a critical part of the quality control services they provide. Routine contaminant testing for cannabis includes screening for pesticides, residual solvents, heavy metals, and aflatoxins or mycotoxins. The analytical detection of pesticides in cannabis is one of the main challenges facing the industry. Because so many parasites and pests can thrive on cannabis plants, most commercial grow operations must use a wide variety of pesticides. Currently, there are no federal guidelines for residual pesticide screening in cannabis, and it is generally left up to the individual states. Most labs test for the pesticides commonly used during cultivation. These include organophosphates, carbamates, pyrethroids, and avermectins. LCMS can be used to test for a majority of pesticides. However, GCMS is the preferred method to test for pesticides that do not ionize well in an LCMS source. Residual solvents are chemicals left over after completing the process used to extract cannabinoids and terpenes from the plant. Since these solvents are not safe for consumption, it is important to verify that they have been properly and completely removed from the final product. Gas chromatography enables the rapid identification and quantitation of very low concentrates of residual solvents. Heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, arsenic, and mercury can be found in soil and fertilizers. As cannabis plants grow, they can take up these metals from the soil. Proper testing should include screening to ensure that cannabis products are free from toxic concentrations of the hazardous metals. However, requirements vary from state to state, so make sure to check your local regulations. The best way to detect trace metals in plant material is by inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, ICP-MS. ICP-MS is the most sensitive method and is preferred by QC labs. Thorough cannabis contaminant testing should include mycotoxin and aflatoxin analysis. These toxins are produced as the secondary metabolites from mold, which grows under the ideal growing conditions for cannabis. There are regulations currently in place that set allowable limits of these microorganisms in food. Liquid chromatography mass spectrometry technology enables cannabis labs to rapidly test for mycotoxins, achieving the ultra-low levels of detection required. Accurate, thorough contaminant screening is critical to keep cannabis patients and consumers safe from harmful contaminants. To learn more about contaminant testing and all types of QC testing for cannabis labs, visit www.growyourlab.com. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.